Hi there guys, I'm Shuddha Saini from Sculptor and today we're here to talk about the what, the why, the how of photogrammetry. So what is photogrammetry? Using multiple photographs of the same object from different angles, you are able to make out where it lies in the 3D space, which helps you to convert it into a 3D model. It's what your eye does all the time, but instead of using multiple photographs, you only use two. So the more pictures you have, the better it is. But there are a couple of conditions that if you fulfill, you will improve the quality of your 3D model drastically. One, high resolution. Eight megapixel or more should be fine. Two, fixing the focal length of your lens. You could use a prime lens or you could adjust and fix the focal length of your current lens. Three, manual mode. So for our setup, we use the Canon 1300D or as you would call it in the States, Rebel D6. The 1300D matches all these option conditions. It has a high resolution of 18 megapixels, 10 more than the baseline. You could buy Canon's prime lens or you could simply adjust the lens to a fixed focal length. This is a DSLR so it obviously has manual mode. So you must be like every DSLR meets these conditions. In fact, almost every smartphone meets these conditions. If you're doing photogrammetry as a hobby or a small project, it's completely fine to use a smartphone. But if you're going to do it professionally, well, DSLR is the way to go. In fact, using multiple cameras is the way to go. But with more cameras comes more cost. And that is primarily why we chose the 1300D as a main camera for our setup. So you could buy a lot of DSLRs, but let's recap Economics 101, specifically the law of diminishing returns. Your initial rise in quality is very high for a small price, but this changes drastically in the later stages. For a small rise in quality, you pay a significantly higher price. So if a smartphone is out here, an entry level DSLR like 1300D would be out here. And an expensive DSLR would be out here. So professionally, buying multiple DSLRs sits right in the sweet spot, but it's not too expensive, but it's gonna give you a huge boost in quality. Not only that, the 3000D has a couple of other features that works hand in hand with photogrammetry. From the new tech, we have the Wi-Fi and NFC support. And from the old tech, we have the 2.5mm jack. So the 2.5mm jack has been around for quite a while. And Canon uses its 2.5mm jack for the remote shutter release. On the other hand, we have the Wi-Fi and NFC support, which helps us to visually see and take photos directly from our smartphone. This is a huge bonus when you have to take pictures of an object which is quite big and if you stretch the tripod to its full length, you can't really reach the shutter button. In the end, there are some unique problems you might face. For example, sometimes the camera might not focus properly. Uh, this is not a problem with the camera itself but the environment. When you take hundreds of photos of the same object, the probability of you running into this problem is quite likely. You might also like to carry a spare battery pack or a charger at all times. Because if you're going to take hundreds of photos of the same object, your battery is going to run out. And it's going to last about 3 to 8 objects, depending on the complexity and the size of that object. For the 1300D, it says it's going to last around 500 photos, but in my experience, I've lasted up to 600. Overall, photogrammetry is being used more and more in our life, from filmmaking to creating game assets to 3D printing, you name it, and it's out there. And the 3000D is a solid camera to start out professionally in the photogrammetry field. Lastly, if you have any doubts about photogrammetry or 3D content creation, reach out at sculptart.net. Links in the description. And I'm signing out.